Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Jessica. This video is going to be a continuation of the Inner Lost Knowledge series that I'm doing. If you haven't yet watched part one and part two, go ahead and watch those first to gain more context about Inner Lost Knowledge. I'll put those links below in the description. So the reason why I'm talking so much about Lost Knowledge or Inner Lost Knowledge is because Abraham is bringing forward a lot of information about this. They're stressing to me the importance of everyone uncovering and retrieving the inner lost knowledge that we hold because it helps as a ripple effect in the hive mind of the collective conscious to help others awaken and activate their dormant DNA and activate the inner lost knowledge that they hold. So we're all connected. And by uncovering the lost knowledge that we have, we're really helping others as well. So inner lost knowledge is considered lost, in quotes, because it's knowledge that we hold from our past lives, especially the valuable knowledge from past lives for those of us who lived in Lemuria and Atlantis. But also knowledge lost from our ancestors, so it's not technically lost, it's just hidden in our unconscious minds and dormant DNA. This knowledge is stored in the soul and it's accessed through you. The problem is that incarnating into a physical body does not give us room to remember the lost knowledge that needs to be brought forward. So we literally have to bring ourselves into a place to be able to receive and retrieve this lost knowledge. The lost knowledge that is really valuable at this time is knowledge from our ancestors and ancient civilizations. So we're literally bringing back lost knowledge taken from ancestors or past lives in Lemuria or Atlantis, but also later ancient civilizations that stemmed from Lemuria and Atlantis, such as the Native Americans, Mayan, Egypt, Pacific Islanders, um, Abraham threw in Game of Thrones as a joke, but I think that they were also showing me that yes, even like the medieval European, like the Vikings, Celtics, um, and all of those type civilizations, but also um, as well as ancient Eastern and Asian cultures, and this is only to name a few because there are so many ancient civilizations and cultures that we can take our lost knowledge from and apply it to New Earth 5D moving forward. And we have all of this information stored in our DNA and our soul knowledge. It's like in order to move forward, we have to remember our past. And our past will help us to navigate moving forward into 5D New Earth. But I'm being told by Abraham that pasts in Lemuria and Atlantis are especially valuable because these were ancient civilizations that also existed in the moving between 3D and 5D reality, as well as the pole shift. So they went through their own pole shift, mimicking very much the energy that we're going through right now. And no, we're not going to be going backwards into the past, like going back to living in grass shacks on the beach with no electricity. By all means, though, if that's what you want in your 5D New Earth reality, then power to you, go ahead. But we're moving forward in a whole new way and creating brand new manifestations based upon all the ancient knowledge that serves us, that we hold as a collective. Because when we move into 5D, it's going to be completely different from anything we've ever experienced before as a collective. It's going to be different from Lemuria and Atlantis. This is new territory for humanity, and we have the blueprints in our past that will help us to navigate seamlessly into 5D New Earth from where we are. There's lost knowledge in everyone, even those who haven't had past lives on Earth. For these people, they hold lost knowledge from lives on other planets. So maybe they existed in a civilization on another planet that also went through a raising of consciousness in their own way. Or maybe they hold advanced galactic knowledge from other star systems. This lost knowledge is super valuable too, and will also be part of the melding of the pot of all this lost knowledge from the collective. 
I'm going to share a channel transmission that I did bringing Abraham in. I asked about lost knowledge in families, um, how to retrieve lost knowledge, and um, what was also brought forward was some amazing examples of why it's so important to retrieve your lost knowledge. So what came through first was lost knowledge is in everyone, but not everyone will be able to retrieve it. There is an immense amount of lost knowledge on the planet right now, abnormal amount of lost knowledge on the planet right now. Connected very much to lost knowledge retrieval is open-minded, heart-based people. Opening lost knowledge is inside the heart and the mind. Knowing lost knowledge is accessible allows the person to more easily retrieve it. Ace knowing about knowledge held within allows the person not only to retrieve it, but finally ascend into New Earth 5D. Joined by collective conscious mind is everyone on the planet. All lost knowledge is held in the mind and heart of individual. When inner lost knowledge is able to be retrieved, it is integrated into the collective conscious mind of all. It gen rummy or integrates into the collective conscious mind, and energy of lost knowledge becomes found knowing in minds of people across the world, filling minds with 5D New Earth operations and technologies, and nice gilded thoughts, knowledge, systems, central ideas, and sporting many to beloved frequency required for 5D New Earth, which is the frequency of love and oneness. Ability to retrieve lost knowledge is necessary in humanity's gilded ascension as a collective. Pretty soon, opening hearts and minds will finally join together in opening door to New Earth 5D. In your cellular makeup, blood, and DNA, you hold gilded knowledge about lost knowledge. Opening your heart and mind opens knowledge to flow to you. When you have inner knowing from your soul, your blood turns into lost knowledge holder. It serves as an inner train system for lost knowledge to reach all areas of your body. After lost knowledge is carried through the body to every part of your body, the opening of lost knowledge can happen. Joining blood is cellular structures roaming the body. In cells, gilded lost knowledge opens a high lost knowledge door, and that allows the DNA to be affected. Lost knowledge unlocks dormant DNA in the body and soon starts to activate DNA that was not active before. Joined in DNA is tenacious heart and mind. These are the final obstacles the person needs to overcome, the physical challenges of retrieving lost knowledge in knowing awareness. Finally, there is still fear integrated in lost knowledge, so the person has to be able to release fear, and then finally opening of lost knowledge is achieved in the conscious aware mind. Abraham wants me to give an example of one avenue that allowed some of my lost knowledge to begin coming forward. This is so that people listening don't have to think that retrieving lost knowledge is a huge thing that has to happen. No, it comes from a very knowing place of resonance with anything that comes into your awareness, like any information that you come across that you resonate with. So for me, Abraham brings forward one specific example, although there are many different ways that lost knowledge will present itself for you to remember it. So one example for me is the movie Moana. The first time I watched it, it touched me on the very deepest level of my core, like my being, my soul. I saw this Disney character as myself, like everything she went through, I felt. Every song lyric I felt in my blood, and I actually cried throughout most of the movie because it touched me so deeply. This tiny Disney character had this huge impact on me, and so seeing that movie, it really changed so many things for me in terms of being from Hawaii and connecting to my native Hawaiian ancestors, connecting to Lemuria, connecting to Hawaii, and connecting to my soul, my soul's knowing. And Abraham told me that having that knowing feeling while watching Moana allowed 
that knowing Lemurian lost knowledge to flow from my soul into my body, which then ran through my blood, my cells, my DNA, my mind, and my heart, and allowed the retrieval of that lost knowledge of Lemuria, uh, that process, to begin to occur. So believe me when I say that retrieving lost knowledge doesn't have to be a complicated thing, but it's not something that you force. It's something that comes into your awareness and creates resonance with you, like very deep resonance with you. And then this begins the planting of the egg in your soul, so to speak, in order for it to, for your soul to recognize the lost knowledge that you hold within, thus beginning the retrieval process into your physical knowing body from your soul. So it's the soul recognizing the knowingness of that information, that piece of information that you highly resonate with. And by being open and having an open heart, you allow yourself to rendezvous with the information that strongly resonates with you. Like, if I wasn't ready, if my heart and my mind weren't open or ready, I would have watched Moana and just maybe thought it was an awesome, cute movie. I wouldn't have felt it as deeply in my soul and my blood and my bones and heart and beingness if I wasn't ready. This is why you have to work on your frequency and vibration first, because that puts you in a place where you are open to receiving. And this kind of goes into the whole manifestation technique. So once you are in a joyful Guilford Island place, knowing that all is truly well, then that sort of opens you up to allowing the flow of so many things to come to you that you're going to recognize as being significant. Not just your desires and your physical things from your vortex, but information and knowledge in your soul to come flowing to you, to be retrieved as well. So I asked Abraham next, you know, why is lost knowledge retrieval so important? What purpose does it hold for the individual and for the collective? And what came through was knowing about lost knowledge in people is knowing that all is truly well. Teams of lost knowledge holders are gilded not only in knowing that all is truly well, but because they are helping to guide others in joining 5D New Earth. Lost knowledge is important because in your lost knowledge is the very much knowing how to build new earth in 5D from the ground up. For example, new ways of healing. The lost knowledge you hold brings new healing centers, new knowledge about illnesses joined with energy knowledge, joined with definitely knowledge about sound and frequency. The lost knowledge you hold tames knowledge in current healthcare from doctors and brings in knowledge from ancient civilizations like Lemuria, who were advanced in healing with energy and nature, not medication. Lost knowledge you hold joins hindrances, meaning like illnesses or sickness, etc., with energy healing and nature more so than medication. Another example is learning institutions. Somehow, learning institutions are failing children in 3D Earth society. Institutions for learning needs to be rebuilt and reintegrated for new ways for learning. Lost knowledge joins knowledge from Lemuria and Atlantis to bring new schools and ways of learning and teaching to New Earth 5D. Really good ideas can definitely be brought forward in joining lost knowledge that people hold. Lost knowledge from ancient civilizations can bring forward new learning programs such as honing like-minded individuals and schools teaching healing techniques. Hindrances in current learning institutions are removed and new programs that cultivate and teach natural psychic abilities, new lost knowledge information, and retrieval of more lost knowledge becomes normal, not abnormal. Lost knowledge in learning brings nurturing of natural abilities centered around love and oneness. Another example is lost knowledge, gilded knowledge about new technology. 
Lost Knowledge joins with Lost Knowledge from Lemurian Healing Techniques and Open Atlantean Knowledge about technology advancements in so many different areas. We sense technology advancements in healthcare, lower frequency management, additional lost knowledge retrieval, advanced science, lost joined Guilford Island studies and new final land masses, meaning like the geology of the planet and like the uncovering of new land masses, and very much joined with new knowledge about healing nature and remembering who you really are. Get ready for a whole new civilization, unlike you have never seen before. Lots of changes underway. They go on to say, Real necessary for lost knowledge retrieval is integrating more knowledge about the self. Inner knowing who you truly are, not as physical beings, but as non-physical energy on earth, having a human experience is the key to strongly opening yourself up to first receiving more lost knowledge information from others, which then finally allows energy of your lost knowledge to finally enter into your awareness. Central to the ability to integrate gilded inner lost knowledge is the ability to know that all is not only truly well, but also knowing that you and your gilded loved ones will be truly well also, and very much so not left behind. You must integrate the energy of knowing that all is truly well, because in knowing that all is truly well, the ability to ascend is greatly gilded in the energy of oneness and love. Illusion of separation in hearts and minds about fear, end of the world, corruption, or not truly wellness acts as hindrances for your lost knowledge retrieval process. Earth in 5D is not something to fear, but something to embrace and look forward to. So I want to make a note here that, you know, Abraham and myself are not saying to completely ignore all of these things going on in the world, that may be more fear-based or things that are causing fear. But as you go further into your inner ascension, you're able to kind of integrate more love and oneness frequency. And so it's not about giving in to the fear-based things that are happening. It's about knowing and understanding what's happening on a worldwide level from a oneness and love perspective. Because what they're saying is that when you give in to fear, when you give in to that lower frequency, you're, it's acting as a hindrance for you to retrieve lost knowledge. So when you're in that state, you cannot retrieve your lost knowledge. So you have to be able to rise above and hold on to the oneness frequency and the love frequency and the higher frequencies to continue your lost knowledge retrieval process. I went on to ask them, uh, so I know that there's both good and bad lost knowledge that people hold. You know, we've had so many different types of experiences, often good and often bad. So What purpose does the bad lost knowledge have and what happens to it? Does it come with us into 5D New Earth or like how does, in what ways does it serve us? And what came through was that not all lost knowledge will be good to uncover, but needs to be uncovered in order to heat lost knowledge on stove with certain many solidifying ingredients. Ability to sift and sort lost knowledge will be crucial. Taking oneness and love lost knowledge ingredients makes for a delicious 5D New Earth soup. Learning definitely about lost knowledge also opens lost knowledge past lives from not oneness. Learning from past mistakes is necessary in order to not mess up the delicious soup. Included in the soup is bad lost knowledge because it allows you the joining of bad lost knowledge with good lost knowledge for ultimate expansion. In knowing duality, it creates expansion like never before. More feasible expansion in bad lost knowledge for it allows you definitely to not only learn from it, but help to finally join it with good lost knowledge to transform the bad into good in New Earth 5D. So into the soup the bad lost knowledge goes. 
but soup is so delicious, it automatically transforms the bad into home-tasting deliciousness soup. Joining soup is all lost knowledge, good and bad, but all bad is transformed into good once it integrates into New Earth knowledge holders' awareness, because they can easily see and understand the purpose behind the bad past, and very much transmute the gilded bad knowledge into ways that it can help to make society better and more knowing that all is truly well. So I wanted to get more clarity next from Abraham regarding the immediate family structure and the team or the pod that you incarnate with as a family of lost knowledge holders that they quickly spoke about in the previous video, part one of Inner Lost Knowledge of Lemuria and Atlantis. And a quick side note in regards to pets, I just want people to know that pets have had ascended consciousness for a very long time and they're actually acting as a bridge to help the family to ascend. So for those of you wondering about pets, I've had a few of those questions. Animals naturally have higher consciousness. They'll be in New Earth along with other animals that we cannot perceive in 3D. But pets and households are especially helping the families to ascend by raising consciousness and offering emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual healing and guidance. So I just kind of wanted to make that clear. So I asked Abraham, you know, can you talk more about the lost knowledge holder teams, otherwise known as immediate family members? Can you also talk about extended family members? So first, I received more clarity about what Abraham means when they say immediate family. So immediate family refers to your stem or your branch of your family. You have to kind of think like branches on a tree stemming out. Everything is connected. So take my family, for example. I have a mom, a dad, and three other siblings. This is my immediate family structure. We incarnated together as a team of knowledge holders, but everything on the family tree is connected. So as I awaken and bring forward my inner lost knowledge for my team or my family, it immediately affects my team of knowledge holders, my immediate family, through our connection on a soul level, as well as blood, DNA, and cells. So by me bringing forward lost knowledge, in an energetic way, it, it's just going to naturally allow my family to begin to wake up, activating their DNA, their cells, their blood and energy just automatically. It will just naturally progress into moving fully into 5D New Earth together as a family unit. However, once each member of my immediate family is activated, my dad, same as my mom, in their souls and hearts, they each obviously have their own immediate family that they stemmed from, meaning they have siblings, they have parents. So through the activation of lost knowledge in my parents, they are therefore able to affect and activate their families, meaning my aunts, my uncles, my grandparents, etc. And then that then trickles into their families. And also coming back to my immediate family, by my siblings activating their DNA and inner lost knowledge through our team, they then affect their families, so their heart partners, their children, etc. And same for me, I then affect my heart partner and my children. So that DNA activation just keeps spreading out and out and out over the whole lineage of family members who are able to connect to the DNA and lost knowledge activation, both immediate and extended. It's a ripple effect. And this is how you affect your entire lineage and your ancestors and your future family. Abraham goes on to say that knowledge is gilded in the soul, not the body. Lost knowledge is not full. It is open to spreading out into friends, partners, and extended family, helping to activate all other inner lost knowledge holder teams to assist in bringing forward their knowledge. This is done through wholeheartedly loving the other person. Most of you listening are not only joined through Abraham, but joined through the lost knowledge that you hold within. 
Spot your 3D hindrances now so that you can begin your journey of retrieving the lost knowledge you hold within and be able to safely move into New Earth 5D with all the people you love so dearly in tow. Sending love to everyone you cross paths with stops energy of sport duality in their hearts and gives them energy of love in their hearts really quickly. Wherever you go, send love. Whoever you come across, send love. Real love, not fake love. Energy of real love sticks. Energy of fake love is tossed out. Real love in hearts cultivates more love, and lost knowledge is able to not only be retrieved, but spread. Heart-based knowledge opens a portal of energy in minds of conscious collective, which enables people to ascend much more quickly after integrating lost knowledge of inner knowing. Once members of families knowing of lost knowledge comes to the surface, members receive new earth knowledge keys to the front door. So going back to like the sending love to everyone that you come across, this helps to open hearts and open hearts helps people to retrieve their lost knowledge. So this continues the ripple effect of everyone that you interact with is affected by you. Everything is connected. I had a question for Abraham because, you know, sometimes there is that family member who is very low vibrational, like maybe they have issues with addiction or anger or just being completely closed-minded. And I asked if that person would still be affected in their team of lost knowledge holders, and if so, like how? And what came through was yes, they would still be very much affected because 5D lost knowledge energy is much stronger than 3D low frequency energy. Unlocking lost knowledge in your team has the ability to change the entire family's awareness very quickly due to your very strong connection to each other. Definitely lost knowledge ferments in the hearts of families on the planet after at least one member is able to do the work. Families ascend together because they are tied together in love and joined together in DNA, cells, blood, and soul. Gone are the days not knowing if family members will ascend with you. So your heart partners, as Abe likes to call them, your romantic partners, your love-based partners, your life partners, are affected by you opening up your lost knowledge because you are tied together through your soul. And from the soul, that kind of drips into their blood and their DNA and their cells, even though you're not connected through your blood or DNA or cells, you're connected in the soul aspect. So that transforms your heart partners. And once your heart partners are transformed, then that transformation also affects their immediate families. And so that continues out over the branches, the intertwining branches of different trees. And it keeps spreading out more and more and more. So I also asked Abe about family members who have disconnected in some way, whether through divorce, separation, or as Abe calls it, quote, central heart disconnection. If this has happened between you and a partner or a parent or a sibling or a close family member, then that heart connection is lost, basically. According to Abe, the soul connection is not lost, so you're still connected through your souls, but the heart connection in the physical is lost. And because the heart plays such a high and important role in lost knowledge retrieval, if the heart connection is lost between you and a family member, especially a family member because you guys are held together through that lost knowledge team, then what happens is the lost knowledge that is connected between the two of you cannot be activated in the family member whose heart is disconnected from you. If you happen to be the person in your team who's bringing forward or retrieving that lost knowledge for your team. Um, so it all depends really on the energy and connection between you and your family members, no matter what your dynamic is, no matter what your family structure is. I then asked about lost knowledge retrieval and is it as easy as having a past life regression and what came through was yes and no lost knowledge retrieval is gilded knowledge not from past life but from who you were in the past life 
this information is somewhat retrieved in a past life regression because you are able to access past lives intensely. But behind past life regression is also a connection to your current life. So it's not always able to sometimes find a past life dealing with ascended consciousness and new earth knowledge because most people are still very stuck in 3D awareness and need to do the work finding past lives that prevent them from lower frequency integration. So side note, this definitely goes with my experience with QHHT and BQH past life regression sessions with clients. Many people who seek past life regression have issues that they're trying to figure out in their current life. So the higher self of the person will bring forward past lives to help the person understand what is currently going on in their life in order to help that person to move forward. So not all people are in a place to tap into finding 5D lost knowledge information in a past life regression session because they're still figuring out or trying to figure out what's going on in their 3D lives. At this point, I also had a recollection of one of my past lives in Lemuria, where I was a crystal healer, and I vividly remember living in a crystal cave, and the crystals were alive and helped with healing and light and energy source. And so this got me thinking, like, I have this past life knowledge of living in Lemuria as a crystal healer. So was lost knowledge just as easy as finding that in a past life or was there something more to it because you know i have this knowledge but i don't know what to do with it necessarily like i don't feel any different i don't know what i'm supposed to do with this retrieval of knowledge from this past life regression or from whatever and what came through was that Premature integration of past lives are not easy for many people. It's very hard. More integration of past life joins premature integration much later. It is joined through the ascension progress. The illusion or belief of knowledge from past life is in your awareness. For example, with your past life memory in Lemuria as a crystal healer in the crystal cave. This past life knowledge finds past life knowledge with information from other past lives, from another's knowing mind. This allows integration of your past life knowledge to come together with another's, defining lost knowledge retrieval in both of you. Lost knowledge is all connected in the hearts of known members of the Abraham soul family. Gilded knowledge becomes more gilded when coming together in retrieval of lost knowledge bigger picture. Hindering ability to retrieve lost knowledge is the poison in the mind that you are more finely integrated than you are absolutely integrated. I asked Abraham to kind of further explain what they just said, and they said that this means that you think that everyone is integrated finely, like fine sandpaper instead of thinking that everyone is seamlessly integrated, like parchment paper. They said, instead of sensing oneness, you still sense separation. And this is what hinders your retrieving of your lost knowledge. Another side note, Abraham also brought my attention to the fact that I'm already connecting with a lot of you, Abraham's soul family members, and putting puzzle pieces together and bringing forward more of my lost knowledge based upon what you have in your lost knowledge. And we're kind of helping each other extract the lost knowledge that we each hold within. And I've also noticed a few of you connecting to each other, like in the comments, through having similar information that you hold. So that's really exciting and it's really important to continue cultivating that if you find similarities with anybody else. So I am getting a lot of information about the importance of connecting with others in this whole process of retrieving your inner lost knowledge as well as moving forward in actually putting minds and hearts together to manifest and create or invent new technologies, techniques, processes, systems that will integrate into New Earth 5D. This is going to be a collective shared experience. 
I have a few people asking about like a place to connect. I do have a Facebook group. The link is on my YouTube homepage, top right corner. And I'll also put the link to that Facebook group in the description if you're interested in joining. I'm also getting that lost knowledge retrieval is not just about going into a past life and doing past life regression. Like just doing research about New Earth and 5D information or any research that piques your interest opens you up to retrieving your inner lost knowledge through your inner knowing. So for example, if you're drawn to ancient Egypt and just have this really intense connection with ancient Egypt and you have no idea why, you're probably going to be open to doing research about ancient Egypt and gaining more knowledge. And this will lead you to uncovering more things that you resonate with, whether it's about energy healing or pyramids or integration of gods and goddesses. You're going to be drawn to certain aspects that becomes your truth and your knowing that you just resonate with on a soul level. And when you resonate that deeply, that is the unlocking of the inner lost knowledge from your soul down into your body and then helps you to go through the whole lost knowledge retrieval process. So the same thing goes for how I watched Moana and that helped to unlock the retrieval of some of the Lemurian and Hawaiian ancestral inner lost knowledge that I have. So you may not know exactly what the past life was or who you were, but you resonate with the information, the knowledge, the history, the ancestors, and that in a way is more powerful than actually knowing what the past life was about or who you were in that past life, because it's that knowledge that you're holding with you. And um, Abe wants me to clarify something right now. So they're asking me, you know, what unlocks this lost knowledge? And basically what unlocks the lost knowledge is your resonance with all of the information that you're coming across, right? So they're saying that the information that you're resonating with and that's coming to you is actually premature lost knowledge. The premature knowledge, the information that you resonate with, is the key that unlocks the deeper lost knowledge from that. So for example, resonating with Egypt and gathering information about Egypt because you resonate with it so deeply, that's not the lost knowledge that you hold within. That's just the premature knowledge that helps to unlock the lost knowledge retrieval process. Same with what happened when I watched Moana. So watching Moana resonating so deeply with that movie, it was that premature knowledge that I needed to unlock the ability for deeper lost knowledge to flow to me and be retrieved. So I think for me, you know, I'm still in the process of retrieving deeper Lemurian lost knowledge and that premature knowledge of of resonating with moana really was the key that helped to unlock more information about lemuria to come flowing to me and for me to retrieve that and this is also similar with my past life memory of being a crystal healer living in a crystal cave so this is technically lost knowledge but it's still premature lost knowledge as abe is saying is and also what i'm resonating with because I just have a feeling like it goes so much deeper than just that memory of being a crystal healer in a crystal cave. So what Abe wants you to know is to further your expansion and retrieval of lost knowledge, you have to first love and trust the premature lost knowledge that comes to you or the premature knowledge that comes to you. It's a process, and by trusting and loving the premature knowledge that first piques your interest, or that you first gather information from, or the past life regression that you get, then that allows you to go further into that lost knowledge retrieval process. And I just get this very strong feeling like we're all in this very premature stage in our knowledge retrieval process. So even those of us who are getting information about past lives and who we were in past lives, maybe through dreams or through whatever, I still feel like it can go so much deeper and we're only scratching the surface right now. And I think that this is why this lost knowledge retrieval process is so important for people to have in their awareness. Like, 
they keep talking to me about lost knowledge. And I think it's because we're at a time right now in the collective ascension process where we're able to kind of tap in to get deeper, further knowledge past this surface level of information and knowledge that we're all kind of getting right now. So in terms of the importance of lost knowledge retrieval, I got the vision of an accident and there being five witnesses all spread out uh, who saw the same accident. And each of these five people are gonna have different perspectives of the same accident. So they can each recall something different of the accident from their own memory and perspective of where they were. So individually, each of these witnesses hold a very unique point of view of the accident. If these five witnesses were able to come together, or even just two of them, they together are able to draw a bigger and better picture of what may have really happened during the accident, much bigger and better than relying on your own memory of what you think happened. And so when you put another in the room with you who has the information from their perspective, that knowledge just continues to grow and grow and grow. And the same thing goes with the information that I shared about Lemuria. That information that I brought forward in that video was taken from my perspective of the past life that I lived in Lemuria. There were so many people who commented saying that they have you know, memories of Lemuria from their perspective. And so that kind of just draws a bigger picture to be unfolded for all of us. Abraham continues to say that joining knowledge with others allows the bigger picture to form, something defining higher thought in lost knowledge, relieving doubt. Lost knowledge is then able to come together knowingly, not unknowingly. And finally, I asked about, you know, can't higher galactic beings just tell us information for new earth living like can't they just give us this technology why do we have to retrieve inner lost knowledge from the past and what came through was that you and only you can retrieve lost knowledge energy of lost knowledge holder is definitely opening lost knowledge in the hearts and minds of others this helps to awaken others. It finds the unique perspectives in others' knowledge about past lost knowing experiences, and lost souls definitely awaken through the gilded lost knowledge activation. It also joins souls in finally ascending the gilded hive mind on the planet, and it helps knowledge to spread out gildedly and fly into others' aware minds to aid with the raising of consciousness. So this also goes back to what I said about immediate family members and the family tree structure all being affected just by you activating the inner lost knowledge within you for your family. It doesn't just stay in the family when that lost knowledge is retrieved and the DNA is activated. It spreads out into the extended family. It spreads out into the heart partners of the family members thus affecting all of their own immediate families. And then close friends are also affected, opening the DNA and lost knowledge that they hold and then activating their families and close friends. So it's, again, it's a hive mind and the branches of a tree, everything is connected. We're all helping each other as we retrieve our lost knowledge and activate our inner DNA and soul knowing. Abraham goes on to say that yes, Ascended beings can definitely just tell humans what to do on New Earth 5D. Higher, not better, energy is provided from open channels on your planet. Integration of higher energetic information from ascended energetic beings and non-physical ascended energetic vibration is in the awareness of many people on your planet. Hindering the definite integration of non-Earth and non-physical beings and energy includes humans' hesitation to believe the final knowledge from these higher frequency and higher dimensional beings channeled through knowing individuals on your planet. This gilded knowledge is not only lost knowledge, but gilded knowledge premature in the minds and hearts of individuals, so that absolutely, when ready, you can re-access the knowledge from the higher frequency and higher dimensional beings. 
This joins the inner knowledge from the self and the knowledge received from the higher dimensional beings and higher frequency energy, the gilded home in the stars from your star families and lost ancestors. Uh, and they say lost ancestors because uh, it's they're lost, the ancestors are lost after somewhat dying in the minds of people as the lineage grew, which is totally relevant. A lot of people have lost their ancestral ties and that knowledge from the ancestors. And then they finally say, opening mind reopens inner knowing of what you absolutely resonate with. Central to some lost knowledge retrieval is opening the mind and lost knowing that you are truly connected to all in the universe and so loved by your galactic star families, lost ancestors, and higher love frequency energy. In reality, they're talking about the oneness frequency of Abraham, as well as many others on the leading edge of creation. In oneness, we are Abraham. Oneness and love be with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.